I've got some of this uh, material that I use for my uh, back panel vents on my speaker cabinets. I'm going to cut a little piece of this off and uh, use it to uh, screen off the exhaust on the furnace. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is disconnect power to the furnace and you can see right here we've got our 15 amp fuse. It's the uh, fourth one over. So one, two, three, four. It's this 15 amp fuse. Pull that. Make sure that uh, we don't have any power going to the uh, fan motor on the furnace. Alright, so we'll pull off the uh, four screws holding the furnace cover on. Expose the fasteners that hold the furnace in place. And inside the camper and behind this panel, this is the uh, wall with the slide out. And this is my pantry. Right underneath the pantry is the, uh, the panel that gives you access to uh, the furnace uh, hoses, um, the vent hoses and everything like that. So pull this off and then um, you've got your furnace right back in there. You can see daylight because I have the cover off out there. Um, and uh, we can go ahead and there's enough slack on these hoses that you can pull the furnace out from the outside uh, a little bit to, uh, you know, detach the hoses if you need to clean them. Um, I don't really need to do that. I've uh, blown them out before. All right, so this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, floor vent covers and uh, got my trusty little DeWalt vacuum cleaner there, my, my 18 volt cordless and corded. I guess you can plug it in if you want to, but um, my uh, vacuum cleaner, uh, vacuum out all these. Uh, Vents a little bit, you know, dog hair and dust and rocks and stuff get stuck down in there from, you know, this is where we kind of take our shoes off. Um, and a lot of stuff goes down in there. Plus the dogs lay down on the floor a lot and there's dog hair down there. So I'm going to vacuum all that so when I turn on the uh, furnace, it doesn't blow all that garbage out into the, into the room, onto the floor. Just take this and these just pull up. Make sure you do it evenly so it doesn't break. Okay, and yeah, you can see there's a bunch of bunch of dog hair and lint and some pebbles and stuff down in there and some actually some sand from the beach. Oh, there's all kinds of crap down there. Let's get that vacuumed out. got another vent over here by the entry door and this one gets really dirty because of course it's right by the entry door so pull that cover off and uh, vacuum that one out too so just as a tip all of your uh, vent uh, hoses are you know this kind of like dryer vent hose um, underneath the coach at least on my camper some of them are are hard tube um, hard plastic conduit but most of them do it with this flimsy uh, dryer vent, uh, aluminum venting. And um, don't try to poke anything down your, uh, your floor vents to clean them out. In other words, you know, like those dryer vent uh, brushes, that'll rip a hole right in this stuff. And then you'll end up uh, with a big mess and uh, a, a furnace that's not very efficient. So. Uh, don't don't try to push anything down your your uh, you know vent tubes and uh, to clean them out. Just uh, vacuum it the best you can. You can use some compressed air or uh, like what I've, what I've used in the past is a, a leaf blower uh, on low setting just to blow out some of the debris. Uh, it can be kind of messy that way, but uh, it is an option. But I just vacuum them out you know a couple times a year, get the dog hair and stuff like that out. I've just got one of these uh, battery-operated leaf blowers and on this uh, outside panel. That's your exhaust vent. 
get a good flashlight and you know shine a light down in there just to make sure there aren't any uh, you know wasp nests or mud daubers or anything like that down in there um, they like to build nests in there that you can get a brush and uh, and brush anything out any debris that's in there this little cover this little aluminum plate uh, comes off there's a couple of tabs back here that you can bend back and this whole thing just comes out and you can get a, a brush down in there to clean out anything that might be stuck in there up and here on the uh, electronics board right there you've got a fuse so if you can't uh, figure out why your furnace motor is not going um, first of all check your your power switch this is your your on off switch and the breaker so this will trip if something goes wrong but you've also got a fuse right there for the dinosaur board this up here is your electronics board and um, so check those things if your furnace isn't working um, you know maybe for one maybe the uh, breaker tripped uh, or you know somebody turned this off if it was stored for a long period of time or something or they weren't using it the power button could have gotten turned off or maybe the fuse on the uh, dinosaur board uh, has blown for some reason uh, but anyway if your furnace isn't working it's not blowing um, or not igniting you can check those things all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and fire up the uh, furnace fan and uh, make sure everything's working properly and and uh, then fire up the gas and get the furnace going and uh, make sure it heats up good and uh, that should be it for the service get my fuse back in here All right, so over here on the wall, I've got my, my Atwood thermostat. I can just go ahead and uh, turn the fan on just to make sure everything's running smooth. And you can hear the, hear the fan going. We'll go check outside. Just a quick note. Um, I, when I first got this camper, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. But once you turn the, the heat off or if you're just testing the fan uh, and don't have the gas going, um, once you turn the fan off, um, it continues to run for about uh, 30 seconds to a minute. So just once you flip it off, it's going to go off. Just give it some time. Don't don't keep fiddling with it. Um, as long as the uh, you know the temperature is set uh, down far enough, that fan will go off after about 30 seconds. And just just fan air coming out here now, but it's circulating. Here running and there's a little bit of air blowing out. Of course it's cold because I don't have the gas going yet. All right, so this is that uh, cover that goes on the outside of the camper and um, got the screen on the back there. I'm just going to mount that with a couple of stainless steel screws and um, that way because normally that hole would just be open but uh, I've had problems with wasps and stuff wanting to build nests up in the uh, exhaust tube, so I'm going to cover that up. And uh, I'll just keep an eye on it when I'm running the furnace. I don't run the furnace very often because I've got the buddy heater, but uh, when I do run it, I'll uh, check on the screen periodically just to make sure I'm not burning through it and uh, melting it or whatever. It's just uh, a, a aluminum. It's like uh, it's kind of like this stuff that you put over your rain gutters to keep the leaves out, but uh, it's just you know just grill material and uh, I think it should work just fine. All right, so here's that vent panel. I just mounted the screen, that small screen, using uh, stainless steel screws. And I didn't have to drill any holes. I didn't damage the uh, cover in any way. I just, uh, you know, ran the screws to the existing uh, grate uh, there into the back of the smaller screen material to secure it from the back side. So that is, uh, Kind of a non-destructive way to do it if if for some reason i need to replace that screen if it melts or if some something goes wrong if i don't like it i can just take it off and no harm no foul i'll finish getting this uh thing wrapped up get the cover back on and uh that should be it all right that's what it looks like with the new smaller screen put on keep those wasps out of there all right so the temperature is all the way up and blowing warm air and it'll heat up real quick 
Yeah, so then I just turn that all the way down. That shuts the burner off. The fan will keep running for a little while. Usually takes about 30 seconds before it shuts off. Fifty seconds. So a little over fifty seconds that took. Well, uh, I ran this for about well ten minutes or so, and it, this got hot, but it it didn't get so hot that I'm worried about it melting at all. So I think that's going to be just fine. Keep the wasp out, and uh, yeah, still vents really good. So I'm happy with that. And that's pretty much it for the. Uh, biannual furnace uh, service and cleaning. Uh, just like I said, do that a couple times a year and uh, keep it keep it running properly. Uh, one thing that I do just once a year, I didn't do it this time, I, I did it last time I cleaned it, was uh, put a little bit of uh, dielectric grease on, on the electrical connections and uh, change the fuse. So I always change the fuse once a year. They're dirt cheap and uh, swap you know, them out and that way you know they're going to be you know good for the for the next year so um that screen material should work just fine but i'm going to keep an eye on it and uh yeah so thanks for watching and uh if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel i'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button it really helps me out if you hit the uh, like button if you like the video and uh we'll see you on the next one later